hi guys it's me ali and today i'm going to talk about is riding fast cool now before i start this video uh, those for those who are new to this channel and they are watching me for the first time uh, you can subscribe my channel i make videos which are related with the motorcycle and traveling so today uh, we are going to talk about is is it cool to ride fast we see that in the movies and it looks really cool in the movies and when you ride fast uh, to be honest it really feels good also but shall we do that i mean is it okay that whatever feels good whatever looks good uh, it it is actually good i don't think so because uh, i'll be covering this video in four points the first thing well it doesn't matter how skilled you are as a biker there is always a chance of accident and nobody's god we are human beings we can make mistakes uh, look at those professional motorcyclists they do die they go through very uh, uh, risky accidents which sometimes take their life and i'm talking about professional motorcyclists right now who ride on the circuit if they can they train for hours and hours and still sometimes they are not able to handle speed then who are we we are just normal riders we are not professionals and we are riding not not even on circuit we are riding on the city roads or on the highways so it it uh, i don't think so that it is uh, uh, from from any uh, way or any perspective it doesn't look safe to me if you ride fast that's the first thing because if a professional motorcyclist who ride on a circuit and who trains for hours and hours if he can go through an accident then why why then why can't me and you if we don't take precaution and also there are so many other crazy riders and drivers out there on the road in the city or on the highway so risk is not only uh, from the mistake which we are going to make it is also from the mistake which others are going to make so that's the first thing that uh, this is the reason i don't think riding fast is cool and it is risky it doesn't matter how skilled you are second point second thing is that it is not good for the health of your engine it will reduce the life of your engine now uh, many people who don't know this uh, if you ride between the speed of 40 to 60 the life of your in engine will increase but if you ride above 60 you won't uh, have that life anymore in your engine the life of your engine will slowly and gradually reduce and again more more money you are going to spend on your motorcycle so either ways if you don't love your motorcycle uh, if you if you love yourself you don't ride fast that's the first point uh, it can it risk your life and uh, if you don't love yourself then at least love your motorcycle and because of that don't ride fast because it is not good for the health of your uh, of your motorcycle engine so these are the two uh, things Uh, because of which i think that you should not ride fast uh the third thing is that i've written i've written all four points so the third thing is that fuel efficiency uh fuel efficiency is something which is i mean at least for a budget riders like me uh for all the budget riders who have a particular budget of fuel every month for them fuel efficiency is something which is very important and if you ride over 60 km of speed 60 km per hours of speed then uh, definitely you are going going to go through uh, a bad fuel efficiency your motorcycle will not give that fuel efficiency which the company has guaranteed or uh, something which you expect if uh you ride between 40 and 60 i'm sure most of you know about this but uh, i'm just telling you all the reasons why you should not ride fast and why it is not cool it just looks cool but to be honest the people who are standing who the, uh, i'm talking about the pedestrians all the pedestrians who are there on the footpath or even who are walking beside the road for them it's not cool they just look at you and they think that who that stupid person is so 
we were talking about fuel efficiency so the best fuel efficiency you get on a motorcycle or even on in a car but we are talking about motorcycle right now is between 40 to 60 if you maintain the speed of 40 between 40 to 60 you get the best fuel efficiency i know on the highway you cannot ride at the speed of 60 but that doesn't mean you'll ride at 100 or above 100 to be honest i have been i have done some uh, touring on motorcycle solo trip or uh, I've, and I have also been to the highest motorable road in the world which is in Ladakh my speed never touched even 100 when I went from Delhi to Khardungla which is the highest motorable road I was always under 100 70 80 that's the best speed I like on the highway 70 or 80 so the faster you ride uh, the worst fuel, uh, your the the faster you ride, the fuel economy will drop down according to that. So make sure you ride at 70 or 80. Isn't that good? So and it's not necessary to have a race with a truck. Nobody is uh, looking at you, a truck driver. If anything happens to you, it will be just a. Uh, a, a truck driver is just going to share these things with their friend they'll have a laugh maybe or they'll just have uh, uh, they'll, they'll be sad for a few minutes and they everybody will get uh, on their life so make sure you don't risk your life it is the most precious thing for you if anybody is going to lose it it's going to be you it's going to be a loss for you not for anybody else others will carry you uh, carry on in their life they will carry on with their work so make sure you take care of your life and you don't ride very fast so the third point was fuel efficiency so the fourth point is that uh, it is not good for the life uh, it can risk the life of others for example the pedestrians or even uh, any any other third person it doesn't matter if he's walking running or if that person is on a uh, two-wheeler or a four-wheeler it can risk the life of others also if you ride fast uh, so make sure uh, this is the fourth point that you don't ride fast if you don't care about your life then care for others life that is also uh, a thing which you should keep in mind and we all should keep in mind the four, uh, the fifth point and this point is uh, probably the most important point do you love your parents or not? If you do, or uh, and not only your parents, your relatives, your friends, all those people who will get affected if anything happens to you. So make sure you don't ride fast because uh, if you love your parents, your relatives, or any person who loves you a lot, and that and and if anything happens to you. Uh, it will create a huge impact on the life of that person and especially I'm talking about parents right now because all the other people will move on in their life but do you think your parents will be able to move on if anything happens to you so make sure you don't write fast because first four points are important of course uh, but the last point the fifth point which uh, I just mentioned your parents uh, love your parents, uh, your, relate, your relatives and all the people uh, who love you uh, and don't write fast. I don't think so. It's cool at all. And uh, all these points which I have mentioned through this, I have tried to uh, explain you that writing fast is not cool at all. Guys, always remember, according to my experience, when I come back from a trip, I don't remember what was the average speed or what was the top speed. I just remember the things which I've seen. I mean, let's talk about the best trip I've gone on, that is the Ladakh trip. Uh, I don't remember the average speed, the top speed I hit in the Ladakh trip. To be honest, I really don't. I really don't remember anything related to speed. I just remember the things I've seen, the places I've seen, the people I've met. So, it just thrills you for that moment. But later on, later on in your life, that speed is not going to uh, be a very special memory or anything. Especially when you are traveling. If you want to race or if you want to ride fast, if you think you are completely passionate about it and you cannot live without riding fast, then go on a circuit. 
become a professional rider and take a proper training and ride fast on circuit take part in races that's something you can do be a professional then but if you if you think by risking the life of others by risking the life of yourself uh, by reducing the health of your uh, motorcycle and by affecting your parents you think uh, you will live a cool life uh, then you are just living for yourself so make sure uh, from now onwards when you ride you ride in a uh, you ride properly and uh, uh, you just ride uh, in a safe way in a responsible way and from today you become a responsible rider so i hope you all liked today's video and if you did like it then don't forget to uh, subscribe the channel uh, and like it like the video and i need your comments i want to know what you guys think about this topic uh, which i've shared with you today and i would love to know more from you if you want to mention more points uh, that these are also the reason that you should not ride fast then you can mention it in in the comment section that will be really uh, great for all the uh, for everybody who is going to read that comment and even for me so thank you so much for your support till now and uh, uh, i'll see you guys in the next video Thank you. Bye-bye.